Trista, can you shake hands? Shake hands? <gasps> can you shake hands? Good girl. Say hi. How are you? Trista isn't just good, she's special, and so are all of her friends. Fido's for Freedom in Laurel matches service dogs with veterans with PTSD and people with hearing or mobility issues like Cara. She works for the organization and she has health conditions that make her service dog Autumn crucial for help with everyday tasks. She fetches things if I drop them. Fetch. Hold. Yeah. She also can help take off like my jacket. She can open doors. Autumn she is my, you know, my heroine, my heroic helper. Our goal is to bring love and joy and peace wherever we go. Fido's for Freedom also has a therapy dog program going into hospitals, nursing homes, and schools. And that's where dogs like Trista and Moxie come in. We've just started a new program with the Howard County Police and 911 Call Center. And ultimately, we will be doing some crisis intervention where they're going in on a crisis and we'll back them up with the dogs. Right now they have 23 dogs in various stages of training, including puppies like Astra who will stay with their volunteer raisers for a year before being sent to Cumberland to work with prisoners on more advanced training. The inmates train them for another nine to 12 months on the more the other other tasks, more detailed oriented tasks. And we go up there every two weeks to work with the inmates and the dogs. And then they come back here for even more training before a match is made. And that's what it's all about for puppy raisers Philip Lavin and his wife Shannon, knowing one day Astro will make a difference. It's like a proud papa moment. You know, you get to see what they're, they're doing and who they're helping. And it's just it's, it's, it's just a feel good moment. A Fido's for Freedom is entirely run by donations. They have a huge fundraiser going on online right now. And to find out more, just log on to our website, WBAL. TV.com. Here are Laurel, Jen Franciati.